When it comes to world building, customizing figures is one of the most important parts. Having figures unique to your own world and your own station is what really brings your creation to life. And remember to keep it simple. Sometimes all you have to do is give it a head swap, maybe give it a cloak, switch its accessories, and there you go, you got a custom figure. A lot of times the places you visit, it's people is what creates the environment. This custom BDLT, Bud Light, one of my favorite, one of my first custom figures that I did for Skybottom. Even though he was a little bit bigger than 3.75, by putting that droid head on him, he fits right in. So when you want to start world building and don't have everything you need, but you have figures, start painting, start giving them names. This guy here, he doesn't really have too much going for him, but I give him a simple wash or a chestnut bath, as I like to call it, and he's a custom. All I did was just add a Supreme little box logo to him, and now he's something unique to Skybottom Station. These two products from Acid Rain are my first kit bash, and I'll show you what a kit bash is. It's when you get two things like this here, or multiple, and you combine them to make something like this. So as you can see, the exoskeleton and the Tim head came separate, and this is the figure where I got the body I'm using for Tim and the TV head, which you can see right there. And I just combined the two, and that's what you see here. That's a kit bash. That's a custom. That's something unique to Skybottom. That's something unique to my own world. So guys, please just take it one step at a time, one figure at a time. If you guys got some paint at home or you don't got paint, go ahead and go to Walmart, buy some Apple Barrel paint, 50 cents, start weathering. If you don't know how to weather, I will show you right now. The same way I weather these guys with a chestnut bath, I'll show you how to chestnut bath. Let's go. So these Ned B droids are my favorite. They just look excellent. I wish they came in the vintage collection. How come these don't have the vintage collection treatment? But you know what? That's not really the biggest issue. The biggest issue is we need to get these guys painted and ready to throw in Sky Bottom. All right, so first we're going to do some damage and some scratches. We're gonna get my best friend, Mr. Crafty, and we are going to start cutting along the chest plate with the box cutter, just some minor scratches. That way when I paint and weather, there'll be some detail. And let's try to get some deep cuts in here. One of the most important things about cutting into a figure and weathering it, it makes it your own. And that's what world building is. One of a kind figures in your station, in your world, that's how you make things yours. And it's okay, you see all that plastic just shoot away? That's totally fine. I apologize that my hands are a little bit sweaty. There we go. What's the next step? We get sandpaper and start giving them some scratches. So we're just gonna sand it just a little bit and then that way so when I paint, it'll kind of stick a little bit easier. So I usually get chestnut. I don't put a lot of thought into it. What I do is I get the paint, open it up and then just start pouring it on. And this is what I call a chestnut bath. The reason why chestnut is my favorite color to use to weather pretty much anything is because it almost looks like a natural rust. But if you're using a black wash, it makes sense to use it for like vehicles, like oil, burns. But for natural dirt and rust and stuff like that, I would go with chestnut. There is a method to my madness, guys. All right, so now that he's painted in brown, now we just get a paper towel and we just clean them off. That's all we do. But as you can see where I use the box cutter at, you can see how the paint is like sticking within those details. And then you can smear it whatever way you want to have it smeared. Now the back could be more dirty because hey, it's the back. And then you could just start patting it down. Underneath here where those little cables are, I like it to be more dirty inside of there. For the harder parts, like underneath that neck, a Q-tip would work. But if not, just get the paper towel, fold it, and then just stick it all in there like that. No big deal. All right, so this is the finished product. Simple, easy weathering. This one, the non-weather versus the weathered. Chestnut bath, guys, remember, the chestnut bath. 
is the most important thing you could do to these guys when they're fresh out of the package. Chestnut bath. Chestnut bath. When you guys open up a new fig and it's not receiving a chestnut bath, there's something you're doing wrong. You gotta get this hard piece out of here. And guys, remember, it's okay to get your fingers dirty. See how I'm just holding it like this with my fingers? Look, it doesn't matter. You could get your fingers dirty. It's all the same thing. Because when you get your fingers dirty, it shows that... Oh, I'm sorry. Because when you get your fingers dirty, it shows that you're working hard, right? You're not an artist unless your hands are dirty. All right, now for the fun part. When you get the paper towel and you, like, wipe and weather, a paper towel is just another thing to use to create art. Another important thing about weathering when you're world building, it doesn't matter if you weather the same figure with the same paint, with the same technique, they're never going to be identical, which means you are creating a one of a kind figure. So when you're world building, you want to have figures that are only unique to your station. Even a little scratch that you did yourself, that is your figure unique to your station. How about we just leave this one as is? Yeah, I think that one's done. Oh wait, the hand, see? You gotta, you gotta do something about the hand. You can't leave the hands like that. Hey, no, no, no. All right, so we got the joids weathered and painted, battle damage, non-battle damage, battle damage. Yeah, I'm really satisfied with the way these came out. When I first seen these like revealed, I was like, I have to have like 10 of these. I need these. I'm glad that I found two. So it's the start of a new era. If you guys found this weathering tip useful, give this video a thumbs up and let me know which figure you're gonna give the chestnut bath to. And remember, world building starts with an idea. It doesn't start with the structure. It doesn't start with buildings. It starts with an idea. Something simple like a name. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys start building soon. Welcome to Sky Bottom Station.